Greetings and salutations, YouTube. It's Hadron here. Welcome to another episode of Goodwill Hunting, where we go to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find. We are here in Anaheim, California today, and I'm super excited to take you guys into the store. We're sitting right in front. It's super sunshiny day today. It's been raining all week. Today's supposed to be the only day that it's not raining, and then it's going to start up again tomorrow. So we're taking advantage and going thrifting the whole day. So if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button to be notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian. Just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's head into the store and go. Oh my gosh, they have these like little dogs with blankets for $5.99 each. That is so cute. Blankets, they have some bedding, shoes, beanies, all little gloves. wonder how much the gloves are. I think they're all like a dollar ninety-nine. How much are this? Dollar forty-nine. Oh, I might get these for the boys because they always want gloves. And get the blue one for a Lizo. Wonder if they have any red ones. Zach's favorite color is red, but I don't see any red. And now I'm inside here looking at the case. I see a couple of coach bags. I'm really interested to see what this black one is right there. The leather looks pretty interesting. Kind of reminds me of like a long jump. Might even be like maybe a coach or something. Furla, we'll see. All right, I looked inside the case. There was nothing too exciting. So now I'm back here in the regular handbag section to see. This is actually kind of a cute design, but it's leather. What they have. Hello? This looks just like a Balenciaga. So far, all of these bags have been kind of like leather. They have like this little Hello Kitty, how cute! Oh, I also found this little Starbucks cup right there as well in the cart. And I also found this little cupcake thing. I think I'm gonna give it to like my little neighbor. <laughs> she was thinking she could put on her little backpack. Let's see what other goodies we have here today. Look at this is like a really pretty crystal um, candlestick holder. So I'm just looking for the Tiffany's ones. Those are the ones that I'm collecting. Some Amaryllis right there. Okay, but I think this little lemon wreath is pretty cute actually. They have a bunch of like sharper image stuff. They have more of those bath bombs. Oh my gosh, how funny is this bottle crusher? Should I get this for John? I think he would laugh at this. I think I'm gonna get this baby. We'll see. This might be part of his birthday present. I think that's so hilarious. <laughs> He's like always obsessed with crushing the bottles so more fit inside the trash. Which I mean makes sense, but not everyone, no one really does it. I think like, John and I do it, and then he'll like sit there and like crush all of the bottles, and it's so funny. It's actually kind of cute. We have now made our way to the dinnerware aisle where I'll proceed to look for anthropology plates. Pottery Barn. This is actually really pretty, whatever this is. I like the gold around it. <laughs> Do you guys um, remember, like, I think it's called a toile print from Dior. I have just been so obsessed with it. I remember mom and I used to love that print back in the day. She actually made curtains for her office in like a cool toile, but it was a yellow. But the blue, I think it's blue, that Dior has right now, especially for their like wrapping and 
packaging and stuff is so pretty and i think i think the book bag or something they did it and also the twill but it's so nice i would love to own one of those one day that would be so cool so much christmas stuff right now okay let's look at ooh, the crystal goblets wow three dollars Okay, this is major. Oh, it's chipped though, unfortunately. I don't know if it used to be on something else. Oh, how cute is this little rabbit? Oh, is this? Okay, do you guys think that this is Pampered Chef? Yes, and it's $10. That's not too bad, but I have a lot of these already. Maybe we'll hold on to it, I don't know, we'll see. See what else we can find. I'm kind of like loving this ginormous, whatever this thing is. It's fifteen dollars. Oh my gosh, who is this lady and why are there two of her? <gasps> is this a mermaid? Ooh, Palm Beach. <laughs> How fun is that? Still looking for an anthropology um, eye letter I mug. I only have one. But I really want to be able to spell it's Hadrian, but so far I can't spell it. I can just spell Hadrian by itself, which I mean, I think is a huge accomplish accomplishment in and of itself. But I don't being able to spell my Instagram name, I think it would just be like a really cool thing to be able to do. <gasps> Stop it! Another Emil Henry. I love how it has 15 and it also has 10. But I mean, I love the color. Does it, oh, it's cracked right there. Do you see that? Okay, we can't get it. Too bad, that would've been fabulous. That's a really nice piece and I love the color. I love Emile Henry. I just got a yellow one from here last week. Ugh, these still aren't on sale. Cake stand. Going through what they have in this knickknack section. They have like all the metal knickknacks. Here. Can I get restroom assistance, please? Restroom, thank you. Cooking stuff. Oh, I've been looking at that thing for a while. It's like a wood branch, kind of like candle holder. It looks like it might be pottery one, and I think it might be, but it's hard to tell. Looking through the art. I wonder if that one art piece is still here that I was obsessed with that I didn't get. No, it's gone. Sad. Ooh. I wonder how much this is. 30 bucks. It's gorgeous. That's actually not too bad of a price. But I really don't need another one of these, do I? But it is marble, and it is really pretty. Oh, stop it. This is nice. You guys are probably like Adrian, that is so ugly. But I like it, it's giving me like... Oh, and it's really heavy. Yeah, it's like very boho chic. I like it. How much is it? You guys, do you like this plant stand? It's only $10. I think it's a plant stand. I would use it as a plant stand. Um, it even has a little thing on it that I can't really read. Do you guys see that? It's really, really heavy. It weighs like 8 million pounds. I kind of like it. Look at this rug. This is really cute. I like, like the diamond color design. It has like like a pink, I think it's red, gold, green, and blue. And they have little tassels. It is a 10 by seven, and it's an outdoor rug for only $60. It's a little pricey. I do like it though, but not right now. I think I do want to change out some of our outdoor rugs, but we'll wait. So it stops raining. So check it out you guys, they brought out a cart. 
found this Mark Jacobs bag. There's a little bit of staining, but I don't know, it's 13. I didn't even notice the staining until right now. I wonder if I can get it out. And then there's also this Todd's, vintage Todd's fabric bag. All right, you guys, just walking into the car. I'll show you guys how to go. And now I'm just looking through the backpacks and stuff. I'm thinking about those side tables because those side tables are gorgeous. They're like vintage Morex. I think they're from the 1970s. And they were pretty gorgeous. Even with like the smoke glass, like they were still stunning. I'm looking at them up right now actually. <laughs> like if you look here, $7.39 for that table. They're 